What's going on guys, my name is Drago and I am here with my Wrestlemania, the ultimate thrill ride, Wrestlemania, Wrestlemania 33, actually it's just Wrestlemania because nobody likes numbers anymore. But anyways, yes, I'm here with my Wrestlemania 33 predictions, now I'm going to try to make this a little quick, I know my NXT predictions were a little long, so I'm going to try to make this a little quicker, because I wanted, I'll explain every reason why I chose this person, or why, or what I think is going to happen in my reactions, and I think I'll put both of the reactions for NXT and Wrestlemania in one thing, and oh my god, I just thought this weekend is going to be crazy, Friday is the Hall of Fame, Saturday's TakeOver, um, Sunday's Mania, Monday's Raw, Tuesday's SmackDown, and Wednesday's NXT. Holy God. But anyways, I will guess I'll start off with the pre-show, which shouldn't really be much of the pre-show, but apparently it has been changed that the Women's Championship match is back onto the main show for SmackDown. If it's not, I'm still going to count as a pre-show right now. I think that Naomi is going to return to, return to capture the belt. I mean, I know she returned on SmackDown, but meaning that she's going to take her title back. Mainly because they put, I'm pretty sure they were going to try to give her a little bit more of a run, and it's in her hometown. So, I think that's what's going to happen. Moving on, I'm in the thing, I do believe that it's the Andre the Giant M Battle Memorial, the Memorial Battle Royal. I can never say that correctly. I've tried recording this so many times, but it just doesn't work. Then, it, I, it has to be Braun Strowman. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really don't want it to be. I think Sami Zayn should definitely win it, but I have a feeling that Sami's going to last to the end, and then they're going to do the whole Sami's going to get real close, and then Braun's just going to toss him, and then everybody's going to be sad because I'm honestly I'm tired of seeing like gigantic superstars such as the Big Show and stuff like that winning. Like Cesaro was kind of cool because Cesaro is fantastic, but back when Cesaro won it, it didn't really do anything for his career. He just got a slight push and it kind of died very quickly but hey i guess we'll see about that but supposedly now replacing the women's match unfortunately is the intercontinental championship match which i think dean needs it more but i think baron's going to win it just because they like baron corbin and this feud it's it's not really built very much it was kind of built in like the last month of mania and yeah it was built it's like it planted at elimination chamber and then the rest was just attack and talking like there was no real feud to me so i think the baron's going to win but i think they should keep it on dean just because dean hasn't done anything with the title in 60 days on a live television show i mean he's defended the intercontinental championship in a dark match after smackdown live on march 14th but obviously dean won so and then finally unfortunately it's the cruiserweight title on the pre-show which is going to be which sucks because i think it's going to be a really good match and um i think it's gonna be austin aries i think that they're gonna give it to austin aries because it's austin aries and he apparently has a very big package and it's an impressive package moving on next is the Raw Tag Team Championship match, which I think that the club is going to retain. And if they don't, I believe it's going to Enzo and Cass. I don't think they're putting it back on Sheamus and Cesaro. But it'll be it's going to be interesting, I think. And then with the New Day hosting, I think that the Hardys might come back because it's only a... Like, I think it's like an hour drive to the Hardys' last match in Ring of Honor for the contracts. And I think WWE has signed them. Speculation, speculation. Dave Meltzer. All right. And then um, next, I believe it is the women's championship match between Bailey, Sasha, Charlotte, and Nia Jax. And I think that Bailey is going to win. I don't really know for sure. Well, maybe Nia, because it's kind of like the unexpected, and they always like to throw a twist in there, so. I don't know. That one's kind of a toss-up for me. I don't really know. And then, um, sorry if I forget any matches. I'm kind of trying to do this quick, like I said. Even though it's going on 4 minutes and 40 seconds right now. Anyways, moving on. It is a it is for the United States Championship between Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is winning. Because Chris Jericho is leaving to go do band tour stuff. So yeah, 
Chris Jericho is unfortunately losing and then leaving for a while. But he, th- he is said to come back in like June to do some live shows. Who knows? Then moving on, I do believe it is... I do believe SmackDown has a tag team championship match. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. Or maybe they don't. No, I don't think they don't because Usos are in the um, Battle Royal. So no, they don't. That's stupid. Huh. Okay. Um, moving on, it is the, at least I think, um, Goldberg versus Brock, and I don't want Brock to win because it really doesn't make sense, but he probably is, so yeah, I'm gonna go with Brock. Then moving on with Triple H and Seth, I think Samoa Joe's gonna come down try to help, um, Triple H, and then Finn Balor's gonna come down and help Seth, and I think Seth is gonna win. Then again... Mm, they maybe they'll just pull another sting moment. Who knows? And finally, it's Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker. Roman's going to win, isn't he? So yeah, those are my predictions. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And do you agree with my predictions? Leave a like if you do, maybe. Maybe subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. See ya.